I'm John Rees from the Stop the War Coalition. I'm here supporting the protest for freedom for the people who are under arrest in Bahrain and in support of the Bahraini Revolution because the Bahraini Revolution is the conscience of the Arab revolutions. It is a revolution that stood against not only its local tyranny but against the regional centre of counter-revolution, the Saudi uh, regime, and against the Western powers. The US Sixth Fleet is in Bahrain. The United Kingdom sells billions of pounds of weapons to the Gulf states and to Saudi Arabia in particular. So the opponents of the Bahraini revolution are our opponents as well, and that's why we stand in solidarity with them. It's also a question of the whole of the revolutions in the Arab world. And I think we can say this um, without fear of contradiction, that the Bahraini revolution is the conscience of the Arab revolution. It's the conscience of the Arab revolution because it directly faces the enemies of all the Arab revolutions. It faces the tyrannical authoritarian states that have trembled in the face of the Arab revolutions. But it faces more than that. It faces the imperial might of the Western nations who have supported and sustained those dictatorships across the Middle East. It fought and it faced a regime backed by the United Kingdom, backed by the United States, which hosts the Sixth Fleet of the United States. We can say more than that. It is a revolution which faced not only its own tyrannical government, which faced not only the Western powers backing that government, but it has also faced the Saudi regime, which is the organizing center of counter-revolution throughout the Middle East. It is for these reasons that we say that the Bahraini revolution is the conscience of the Arab revolutions, because it has not given up in the face of tyranny at home. It has not given up in the face of counter-revolution in the region, and it has not given up in the face of the imperial powers. And first among those imperial powers, backing both the Bahraini ruling class and the Saudi ruling class is the British government. The British arms industry is the armourer of counter-revolution in the Middle East. And so this is a protest, not just for freedom in Bahrain, it is for conflict with opposition to the British government, which is arming precisely the people who should not be given any arms in the Middle East. It is precisely the people who are the enemies of freedom who are the jailers of the revolutionaries, who are the torturers of the revolutionaries that are being supported by the British government. So I give my congratulations and my warmest solidarity to you for sustaining this protest. And I say that it may be a long fight, it may be a difficult fight, it may be a fight that involves setbacks, but it will not be a fight which is ever defeated. Thank you very much. Thank you.